Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial you will learn how to properly use the UV editor. The first thing which we want to do is to change our layout from simulation to UV editor. By changing the layout the 2D window will disappear and be replaced by another window. With baked UVs you have the possibility to combine different textures of fabrics which can include many different texture maps into one baked UV. This will reduce the file size and help other software to easily read your exported garments. First it might look similar, but there are different buttons available now. Before we take a close look into the different UV texture channels, I want to give you an overview of the interface. Here you can see the different tiles going to the positive plus one and negative minus one direction. Each tile represents one texture space and can be either used by one or multiple pattern pieces. If we click right onto the empty space, then we have a few options to select. To get rid of overlapping pieces, we simply can select Reset to 2D Arrangement to get an exact copy of our placement of the 2D window. Now it's easier for us to select individual pattern pieces for the fine tuning. If we click right again in the empty space, we can now fit all the pattern pieces inside the first tile by selecting Fit All 0 to 1. As we can see, we do have a lot of empty space in our texture space. If we manage to place all the pattern pieces all together as big as possible inside one tile, then we achieve the best resolution for each exported texture map. So let's arrange them in a squared formation. Similar like the Transform Pattern tool, you can rotate and even scale pattern pieces. If you scale up one pattern piece, then the texture quality of this pattern piece will be better. As you can see, our UVs for the buttons and top stitches are also included and have to be placed nicely as well and close as possible to the other pattern pieces. Once we are done, we can right click into the empty space again and fit all the UVs to 0, 1 again. Now the arrangement looks way better with less empty space. With the toggle bar on the top left corner of our UV editor, you can click through all the different texture channels which were applied to your fabric and which can be exported as unified UV maps. If we take a closer look at the normal map of our puckering and the normal map of our fabric, we can see that the blending mode doesn't look good. In this case, we can change our normal blending method in our user settings to UDN and many other options. Other blending methods need some further adjustments for the intensity inside of our puckering in order to make them visible. That's why I increase it up to 100. On the top left corner, we do have the UV snapshot button. Here you can save a quick screenshot of the UV wireframe, which can be used for any image editing software in order to create other texture maps or do some changes. Anti-aliasing will simply smooth out the edges of the wireframe. The UV area defines which tiles you want to export. You can either only export the first tile, if you placed all the pattern pieces there, but if you decide to split up the UV maps into several tiles, then you can also define which tiles you want to export. The second button is finally to bake our textures into the different UV texture maps. The higher the resolution, the better the quality, but in return the file size will increase a lot. So keep this in mind if you need a small file size, for example when using it for real-time graphics engines. Same as before, you can decide if you only want to export the first tile or if you want to export several since you've split up your arrangement into multiple tiles. You can also add some additional pixels at the edge to make sure that you don't accidentally cut off the texture due to mesh issues. Just make sure that you don't have any overlapping if you want to use this feature. At least you can select which texture channels you want to bake. I will select all of them and also pick the file path and click on save. An easy way how to split up your UVs into several tiles is by selecting the pattern pieces which goes to another tile 
and right click onto them and say fit all UVs to 01. Confirm and place them inside another tile. Keep in mind that you will have twice as many texture maps now. Now let's change our layout mode back to simulation and create a new fabric. Also make sure that you changed your 3D window to the quality render mode. We apply all the different UVs to its texture channels and then we assign this new fabric to all of our pattern pieces. First it will look weird, but once we change the texture mapping from flat mapping to unified mapping, everything looks fine. The only thing which needs to be adjusted is the reflection intensity and roughness, the material type and the intensity of the normal map and displacement map. Now we've combined multiple fabrics onto one fabric and we can use our baked UV texture maps for other 3D applications as well. Thank you for listening and follow our YouTube channel for more updates.